What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you and today we're back with the all new Google Pixel 7 Pro to unbox, do a quick overview. You know I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out. Comes in a couple different color options this year. I always go for the black. Um, there is a nice looking white that looks really clean and I think there's kind of like a, I don't even, like teal color. It almost looks a little bit bluey. I can kind of maybe reminds me of this color a little bit, but it actually nice little uh, contrast against the camera. So I do like that color as well, but I always go for the black. So we're going to check this out to see if it's a hit or miss. Presentation looks good. You got the G up top. So this is going to start at uh, $899. I mean, really good in terms of the pro model. That's a really good starting point for the 128 gigs. And then if you go up to 256, it's 999. So let's go and check this one out. Presentation looks good. Like I said, G up top, Pixel 6 Pro or Pixel 7 Pro. Google on the side, Team Pixel. That's pretty much it. Nothing really to it. A little bit thicker box than I think like the um, the iPhones. But you you think right out of the gate you're gonna get a uh, you're gonna get a charging adapter. You know, you get a power brick. But I don't believe that's the case. I don't think we got one last year. But we're gonna check it out. Nice presentation though. I like it. Go check out that black. So, what you're gonna get here? So let me just go and check out what we're getting first. Yeah, nothing, no power brick, which is everybody gripes about it. It's just trash. Let's be honest. Nope, that's pretty much it. That's all you're getting. So, put that to the side. They could have definitely big enough packaging. They could have slapped the power brick in there. All right, but here's what you're gonna get. Nice little uh, black with the kind of really dark. It's almost, it is almost black up top. It looks a little more silvery. From the picture right there yeah i guess that's a little bit better angle where you can kind of see it the contrast between the camera itself and such a clean camera uh versus like the iphone let's go and check out a little bit differences here so you can see pro max iphone 14 pro max camera cut out versus the pixel 7 pro what do you guys think what do you guys like better completely different um, I do like the way that the Pixel is just nice and different, kind of different than any other phone. Let's go and check out what else we got. This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Big boy status right here. Cleanest cutout you can find. Look at how perfect that is. Really, really clean cutout. Actually, when you put these up against each other, that's a really nice camera cutout from Samsung. They did a good job with that one. Nice and nice and clean. And then let's see, I think that's all we got. We'll put the rest of the side and let's go and get with the uh, rest of it here. But nice overall. It's a big boy phone. You got the glass back. So some people may not like that. This is going to be a fingerprint magnet right out of the gate. I'm going to throw a case on there so it's not going to be that big a deal. But maybe, you know, I do like the iPhone. Let's go and check. I will say one more thing about the iPhone 14 Pro Max, about the jet black. I do like the matte black finish. No fingerprints at all. It just looks beautiful and stays beautiful. Whereas this one looks beautiful up front, but it'll get all fingered up nasty in time. But I'm throwing a case on it. No big deal. I'm not going to raw dog. Got the fingerprint sensor. You can see volume up and down. It tells you right there. And then really that's pretty much on the side. You can see SIM which some phones don't have SIM anymore. Uh, so you got your little SIM card right there. Speakers at the very bottom, very clean. Power right there. Again, power button, volume up and down. And then nothing really to it up top. Let's go and turn it on real quick here. So you can see you just got the whole punch out right there, really clean. You got it. do have a little bit of bezel. Curved screen though, slightly curved display, nothing crazy. Well, the question is, was it curved enough to get a good screen protector? And that's probably gonna be the case. It's probably gonna be a pain in the butt to get a good screen protector. I do got the Zag one right out of the gate, but that's, you know, it's just one of those curved screens, so you're not gonna find a tempered glass screen protector that's gonna fit just because of that. So they're gonna use some type of hybrid screen protector. But overall, this is definitely a beautiful phone. Is it a lot different than last year's? No, not in terms of overall build and feel. The camera setup's a little bit different. Um, obviously, you got different specs, but in terms of overall size, it's pretty much the same as well. It just feels very reminiscent of last year's version of the 6 Pro, which is maybe a little bit more refined look to it. But I do like this one. Uh, we're going to hit the uh, cases, and we got screen protectors coming for it. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section. Hit or miss. I do like this one. We're calling it a hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.